Hello, in this video, I am going to show you the switch component. So the switch component essentially allows, it's basically a toggle, essentially. And you've seen it on applications, you know, all the time. Just to note, the switch itself doesn't maintain any particular state. When you change what looks like the state from, you know, on to off or off to on, it basically has a method called on change, which is a required method that you need to implement. And we'll do that in a second. And that allows you to detect what's being changed, but on its own, it doesn't maintain any particular state. So we have to actually handle that. So to create a switch, use the switch, I'll spell it correctly, obviously. And then inside of here, there's two, you know, required parameters. There's the value, which is whether it's on or off, you know, by default, false is off, or on is true, or true is on. And then next is on change, and this is just a little, little function. And do, 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 do. So we call it state. And in here, we can just print out state. Okay, so let's save that and let's see what we get. So it's just hot reloading, and we got this little thing in there. So if I click it, we can obviously, you know, slide it like so. And at the moment, if you notice, it's constantly just, well, true. So we need to, you know, essentially have a way of handling that. And we need to basically set the state. So if we, outside of here, create a variable, I wanna create a variable, don't actually need the counter. I'm gonna say bool, bool state, equals false by default and this will be we'll change this to that so if we change that to true it will be well on by default actually let me do that and i can get rid of this actually as well i don't need any of this now let's change that to true so it looks slightly different and in here what we want to do is set state inside of here we want to say state or I'll, I'll rename this to, 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 to S. I'm gonna say state equals S. And now if we was to run it, and let's do a printout as well. So print state. And obviously we can use this state variable outside of the actual switch itself. So maybe we're on a settings page, we're toggling stuff on and off, maybe notifications, that sort of stuff. And once we click save, it could use this variable, or, you know, variables like this for multiple switches and then save it accordingly. So if I save that, start reloading, as you see by default, it is now on. If I click it, it now actually toggles on and off instead of me having to slide it. Now it's false. If I click it again, it is true. Click it again, it is false. Click it again, it is true. And obviously the sliding mechanism will work as well if you want to go down that route. And for switches, that's really all there is to it. These are the main two things that you need. Make sure, generally speaking, this is the same as mine and that you have this boolean variable state there are other properties that you can modify like you know the color if you want to have a thumbnail image you know the inactive color all of that stuff as an extra task i want you to experiment with these other extra aesthetic properties that's it if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video